Hola amigos and welcome to the next episode of JDP's Questions, Wings and Things. This week we have Adam Sieber and Liam Easty, they're both from Value Flow. Get it on! Right fellas, we have Adam, Liam, Value Flow. Welcome. Thank you, Sam. Are you both excited? Because you know, it's like give it the quick, let's get it on at the beginning mm. of this one. And I'm, I'm bloody excited to have you both on here. I'm a big fan of the Mexican themes that you started with. I like the whole Amigo kind of thing. Yeah. Um, well, fluent. No, not I'm particularly. Fluent. Not particularly excited. Yeah. No. Swile, you slightly look it. packing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, let's start. I suspect this will help us unpack. Let's start. Right, so who picks the, uh, the wings here? You do. I'm, I'm not going to touch them bad boys, but what I will correct. do is administer this. Yeah, correct. How did you both meet? Question one. Well, yep, dying already. <laughs> we digress. I picked him up from a shelter. <laughs> mm. He was the last one left. We actually met working at Telstra. Yeah. How long ago was that? 2006. Twice. Okay. Bloody hell. Was that our first we, office job? We, 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 I was a sheet right. metal worker and then a uh, pub worker. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was terrible at all of those. I think my eyeballs are sweating. Yeah. Is that a thing? They look wet. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah man, I got the hiccups. Take your second wing. Yeah. And we're gonna we're gonna have some real fun now. I thought I had it under control for the first three seconds. Value flow. What does value flow do? How long have you guys been around? Mm, value flow. And what are the, the BHAGs at a business? Now that's good. So value flow and us. Yeah. What do we do? Yeah. Evolution, uh, where are you guys at so far with it? So Valuefly has been around since 2012. Yep. I joined in 2016 as employee number 14. Liam came on a few months later. A few months later. Mm -hmm. Essentially, we do ServiceNow implementations and IT operating model design. So a lot of business process design improvement, a lot of workflow management, yep. uh, all that sort of stuff. Yep. Work uh, across a bunch of different industries. A lot in financial services at the moment, which is fun. Yeah. Is that? Uh, I tell my mum we work in IT. Yeah, we do the IT. Leave it at that. Right, I got it. Yeah. ServiceNow so, Implementer, advisory led, so we'll come in and help guide you in your business processes. Mm -hmm. What's a BHAG? Big, What's a BHAG? I'm glad you've asked. BHAG. BHAG. Yeah, yeah. Is that an English Big, hairy, audacious goal. I guess what we want to try and do is work with aspirational yeah. companies who want to change what they do for their staff and for their customers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and in all seriousness, why Good we answer, both mate. Yeah, yeah. There's, nice. a, there's other companies that do what we do. Yeah. We do it really, really well. That's why we're still here. Just warming into this. All right. <laughs> right. Third Second question. Come on, Nate. Give me an idea. Give me. Give us a story of any of the the weird and wonderful and exciting things that's happened within your dealings with clients Ooh, out okay. there over your professional careers. At Tilstra. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we were an inbound call center, and we used to have a lady that would ring up every Sunday and sing. Never ask for anything. Never want us to do anything. She would just ring up and someone would answer what, and say, Adam from What, Tell what type of singing are we talking like about? Like she would just like a cappella some <laughs> Ness and Dorma stuff. Oh, I and love we, it. It was beautiful. Yeah. And we put her on speakerphone. And after a while, she would just sort of hang up and then ring back and get someone else on the same floor. And we go, Ness and Dorma yep. ladies over that side. So we were, we were a small medium business team in Telstra right. that they just started at that time. So weekends weren't like huge traffic for volume. We weren't like on the uh, residential and copying everyone's phone bills crap. Just weirdos. Yeah, just dial in and just sing away. Have a, have a bite of that one, Liam. Let's get on, let's get on to the fourth round. That's we like should my, do this with beers. That's like my fourth We win. should. Question time. Yeah. Have a bite. <sighs> what advice would you guys give to any postgraduates out there? Can be a bit of a chicken and egg scenario sometimes, you know, with securing first gig, etc. as well. Mm. That was what, too aggressive, wasn't it? What advice would you guys be giving to, to anyone out there? To anyone who's just finished up in uni. Yeah. Uh, in all honesty, I think don't come out of uni thinking that you know what you want to do for the rest of your life. Yeah. Um, I had no idea I'd be working anywhere near the IT industry. There's an awful lot of people in this industry that don't think I should be working anywhere near the IT industry. <laughs> um, I came out of school, I, I didn't go to uni until I was 31 or something. Right, Did okay. Did a metal trade, worked in pubs, and sort of just said yes to a whole bunch of shit and then worked out how to do it after. So uni's awesome, teaches you how to think as much as teaches you what to think. Mm -hmm. the, the critical thinking, the critical reasoning skills that come out of uni and your ability to go, I get what you're saying, but it doesn't feel right, is what I got. Good Say call. yes to shit that sounds interesting and figure out how to do it later. Yep, definitely. 
Like this, for example. It's perfect. Yep. This is yeah. what got you to you this You too could have a plate of crusty regret. Yeah. If you're 21 and you've just come out of uni and you've got a degree in whatever, you'll have a set of skills and knowledge that you can apply. Yeah. But what you really need to try and get a hold of really quickly is what are some core threads that you want to be able to follow regardless of your job. Do you love being around people? Are you happy being flexible? Do you love... Uh, working in an office, or do you want to wear t-shirt and shorts? Do you yeah, like, I like him, what are the what are That's the things, that, and then work out Oof. what you can do with those things? Is that me or the wings? No, you should definitely talk for longer. I should talk for longer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love sweating. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Question Good. five. Wow. Okay. Take a bite, and I'm going to ask you a piece of trivia. Australian, good old-fashioned trivia. <sighs> 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 It's gonna Ooh. be shit. It's gonna be like, what's the second verse of the national anthem or something that no one knows? And you gotta stand up and sing it. <laughs> All right, go on then. What is the highest grossing Australian movie? Uh, highest, highest grossing Australian film? Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. No, that wasn't a bad guess, oh, so. It's close, wasn't it? Over to Liam. Is he going to something? That's right? not a knife. What are the. That's a clue. Hey Mike, can I come back in? <laughs> yeah, go on. Is, is it the... Crocodile Dundee? Oh yeah, okay, sweet. I was about to ask, I is it? Oh, I did. Oh. The skin like, oh, the skin oh, smeared all down my lips. You are art of procrastination, mate. This, this one's for the final dab, as I'm going to call it. What year was that production filmed? 88. You could go, you could go. It's not like 2004. <laughs> Came out just after the Matrix. <laughs> no, 86? Yeah. It is? Yeah. Yes! Over you go. Now, ad administer one for Mr. Sieber, and that, that will conclude. Mm. It's good having somebody else do That's enough. Just, just straight over the top. Look, I'm straight dying over the top. On my own, like... Right over the top of that. Right on the button. Oh, that's a lot. Mm. I mean, oh, yeah. That is really painful. And that concludes yeah. this year's episode. <laughs> Who wants to oh, be a millionaire? Oh, <laughs> that actually concludes this week of JDP's Question Wings and Things. Thank you, Adam Sieber, Liam Easty, Value Flow. Cheers, guys. Thank Thanks, you, Sam. Been a thing. And the crowd oh. goes miles. <laughs> oh, man. It's going to be. I reckon a hot sauce three, I was ready to go to the toilet.